Good morning. It's just after 3 a.m. here in Istanbul. My flight to Cappadocia leaves at 6.45 a.m. So, I'm headed to the airport. This airport is brand new. This might be the nicest airport I've ever been in. Beautiful morning here. I met up with my driver. They actually put my name on a sign, which was arranged courtesy of my Airbnb host. As you can see, it's a nice, small little airport. Easy to get in and out of. The city is Nav Shahir. That's where the airport is. And then we took a van for about 20 minutes. And you can see the geology has changed. We have these really interesting volcanic formations here. That's why this area is so popular. This city is called Chavushin, I think, which is about two to three kilometers away from the even more popular tourist area here. That city is called Gorame. This area is famous for these rock formations and you can stay in all kinds of caves and rooms inside of the stone here. But anyway, now I'm staying in an authentic Turkish home with a Turkish host. The host is really nice because I got there really early in the morning. He just drove over to the shuttle. It was like a minute away from his house. Got me checked in first thing in the morning. Anyway, I want to get to the gym before I fall asleep and need to take a nap because that flight was early today. It's amazing how much tourism is going on here. It's, it seems like such a small town. And even right here as I'm walking, this looks like a hotel that's being renovated. I see horses. Just kidding, it's a cow. There are a lot of horse rides here and the tourism infrastructure is incredibly well built. It's a small airport, but when we arrived, there were probably five or six shuttles just ready to pick people up. And then when you look on the map, it just seems like there's dozens of hotels all the way around through this city. And like I said, it's just a small city and it's the cave hotel, it's the cave suites, it's the, the this or that cave. And then you just look at the geology and it's these pointy rocks. It's pretty interesting. I don't know if there's another place in the world like this. I mean, the world's a big place, but let me know in the comments if you've seen these types of pointy rocks in other parts of the world. And yeah, this area is a uh, night and day difference from Istanbul, right? <laughs> We're no longer in the busy city. I hear roosters crowing. And as you can see, it's just completely rural. And people come here to see the beautiful scenery and do outdoor stuff. And there's a lot of hot air balloon rides that you can go on here too. That's another big thing. Wow, well, I just happened to take a turn down this road and I did not expect to see this graveyard here. Suddenly I feel like I'm in a Western and I should be hearing wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. It feels so much like New Mexico all of a sudden, I guess or Texas. Now I'm on this, what appears to be a lonesome desert highway east of Omaha, far east of Omaha, east of Istanbul. Oh, and by the way, the uh, flight today from Istanbul, it was, I think it was less than an hour to get here, maybe about 55 minutes. Wow, I keep wanting to just walk and it's just one thing after another. So what is this, the hotel that is coming soon or never was? Hopefully it's coming soon. You can see it's got some really nice tile work. Oh, hey, look, this is good, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Some bars on the window. So I guess this could also maybe be a house. And that's just the first floor. There's another floor that we can go up here. But there's a window here and it's too bad. It's like a new window and it's smashed. And then there's one over here and it too is freshly smashed. All the glass is just right here. We come from that main landing on the second floor and then there's a place where you can kind of walk out on and be outside and people have been having bonfires here. A really nice view. There's a light bulb just hanging here and then there's some nice tile that's been laid here. And you can see they just have kind of a little hollowed out area where maybe they're gonna put a sink or something. And then there's more rooms up there too, you can see. I don't even know how to access those, maybe on the other side or something. Well, sure enough, on the back side here, there's a small staircase that looks like it winds back upon itself. Well, it was a little bit of a climb. They actually had a couple little hand grips in the wall. And then uh, this back here is just an empty room. Doesn't look like it goes anywhere. It's pretty interesting. 
Well, I imagine it's more of the same as you're going up. It's just uh, kind of the same type of hollowed out rooms with windows <laughs> with a nice view. Similar to what we've already seen. So I think I'm gonna leave it for now and I'm gonna continue to the town. And now look at this, everywhere I look, I just keep getting sidetracked because there's just something different each time. So here we've got the rocky pointy cone things and now they have like this slice taken out of the middle of them. No joke, I just heard something behind me and it was this vortex coming down the street. So I had to start running <laughs> from a vortex. I made it, I made it safely. I didn't get any more dust on me. The cones with the, with the slice taken out of them. And then I wanted to point out that this one, of course, of course it's hollowed out and there's like some rooms up there. Do you like the taste of dust? Well then, this activity may be for you. I just asked somebody what the names of the town are and it's Chavashe and Gorame. So before I forget, it's Chavashe and Gorame. My Airbnb, by the way, I think it's about $27 a night. It's good, it's authentic. The host is really nice. And uh, <laughs> I did know that it would be a bit of a walk to the gym when I booked that place. Just walking into town like some dusty old desperado off the trail, <laughs> maybe. When I was in Copenhagen, I mentioned that I didn't bring my little nylon backpack. I just got rid of it because I really am a nomad and I got rid of so much stuff and just carefully packed some things into my suitcase very strategically so I could be on the road. I've been on the road for, I think almost four months or maybe over four months now. Anyway, when I was in Deutschland, I was able to order a new backpack. So it hasn't exactly been a lifesaver, but it's come in pretty handy. And just like that, at the end of the road, I've walked into the city center. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Sedona. That's my one reference point that's close to this. But we are indeed in Cappadocia, Turkey. Now we just gotta find the gym. I hope it's here somewhere. We saw the sign, but I don't see the place. It's extremely dusty. Dusty to the max. Look at this. What is that? All right, so I just got done in the gym and the good news is there was a two for one on the workout. I did two workouts today. But the bad news is <laughs> it wasn't a great experience and that's why I ended up doing two workouts. I was really happy with the gym at first. There was a young man working there. He said they don't have a day pass. They don't have a week pass. They only have month passes and the month passes are 550 lira. And I realized that was about $20. So I said, I'll do that. And I started working out for 10, 15 minutes. And that's when the same guy comes back. He's got his manager on the phone. He decides to interrupt my workout, put me on the phone. The boss said, we don't have a month pass. We only have a day pass. It's 250 lira. Or we have a week pass. It's 1,250 lira. And I thought, oh, okay. What happened to the month pass? He said, there is no month pass. I said, why did they tell me there was one? He said, they don't know what's going on. They're new. <laughs> so I had already paid 550 for the month. So obviously 550 for the month, that is the Turkish rate. And then the tourist rate is the one where they try to milk you. So 1,250 lira is over $46 just for the week, which is obviously a horrible deal for that gym. 250 lira for the day is $9.22, which is also pretty steep. Given the state of the gym, it's not that clean. It's really dusty. I mean, this area is very dusty. If I was paying $20 for the month, I would have no complaints. But when you want to jack the price up, it doesn't feel good. And really the main thing that doesn't feel good is <laughs> being lied to. What happened to the month pass? Oh, we don't have one. Well, clearly they have one or else they wouldn't have sold it to me. It's just the new guy doesn't know how to handle the rich tourists, I guess. So that's what happened there. And I decided to do two workouts today and then I'll come back in two days and I'll do two more workouts and then I'll be done for the week and it'll cost me 500. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, the whole thing felt really unprofessional, which maybe they don't care. If you look closely, you'll see they have the blue eye on a lot of the souvenirs here. And if I understood correctly, that's a Turkish thing for good luck. So he gave an example of if you get a new car, maybe the neighbors will be jealous and maybe they wouldn't mind if you got a scratch on that car. So you get the blue eye, you hang it in the rear view mirror to keep you safe or at least give you good luck. Here you can see it's a hotel that's just built right into the cave and it's built right into this rock formation. 
Like I said, it kind of reminds me of Sedona. I think the reason is because when I went to Sedona, I felt like I was still in the nature. And I feel like I'm still very much in the nature as I'm walking around this city center. This is a long one, but when I read it to you, you'll understand it. It says, Turisticheskaya Informatia. Turisticheskaya Informatia. Tourist information. I just ask somebody how we can get up to that lookout point. He says, you follow this street, go this way. We've been walking up this road for two minutes is all. We already have a super lovely view behind us. And if you've ever been to Sedona, does this not remind you of Sedona? Something about it, like I said, it's just the nature wrapping the city, giving the city a hug, I guess. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Looks like there's a trail that goes up. Sunset Point. We've learned the name of this. And the views just keep getting better. <laughs> Made it around to the back side of the hill. It's not taking long at all, really. And there was a checkpoint back there. It cost 10 lira, 10 lira per person. Most people are actually driving up this driveway. So here's the top over here. And then what I would call the back, looking down, looks like this. Wow, so walk right in and you're greeted with this view. Looking to the east here, with the sun at our back, there's a little ice cream shop up here. You also get some fruit topping. Kind of like the poor man's hot air balloon. Like I said, a big thing that they have here is lots of hot air balloons. But man, the views even up here are really good. It only costs 10 lira. See some roosters down there. Reminds me of Nintendo 64 and Ocarina of Time and Mahora's Mask. The little farm in the game. You could pick up a chicken, ride a horse. You can probably do both those things here, although picking up a chicken isn't ideal, but you definitely can't ride a horse. The lookout point that I first noticed is over there, but then there's another trail and kind of another hill that you can go on over here. Behind me to the north, this is where I'm staying in Chavasen. I think I said that right. And then again, over here, we're just overlooking Gourmet. It's about a 35 minute walk <laughs> to go back over there, which maybe I'll take a cab, but not if the prices are the same <laughs> deal as the gym. If that's the case, forget about it. I think the sun's gonna be setting here the next 30 to 60 minutes. But I think I'm gonna head down, find something to eat. When I was in Istanbul, I did a video where I ate three meals in one day, and I did it all for less than, what do you think? Spoiler alert, I did it all for less than $15, not including gratuity. <laughs> anyway, I have a feeling that the prices here are gonna be a little bit higher. I'm not gonna be able to find such good deals since this is a pretty highly trafficked tourist area. And so we said goodbye to Sunset Point and headed back down into the city center to search for food. I guess I'm just doing my own narration on the fly, live, which is kind of what I do anyway. <laughs> but that was a little more of the uh, voiceover guy narration, I guess. The dog is just sleeping, by the way. As I'm continuing to walk to the restaurant, it's just every step I take, I've got to stop because it's just a new beautiful shot that I have to <laughs> add to the video. See what I mean? Look at this. I get this shot. Here I am at the Wooden Spoon Cave restaurant. I guess I got the entire place to myself. Well, the seasonal salad looks good and the pottery kebab looks good too. Well, the salad is good. Nice and fresh. There's a herb in it that I can't think of. Dill, that's what it is. I was gonna say, what's in pickles? Dill pickles. The bread is nice and fresh, warm. So I have two recommendations for you when it comes to Cappadocia. Number one, don't go to Gourmet Fitness Center. <laughs> but number two, do come to the Wooden Spoon restaurant here. It's really good. They are cooking that stew for me right now. And like the menu said, it's in a wood fire, kind of a pottery ceramic bowl. I think it'll be good. Oh, wow.
Well, there it is. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's really, really good. Chicken, tomatoes, peppers, onions, I would say, with some spices. The chicken is very tender. The rice is very good. What can you say? Come join me at the Wooden Spoon. <laughs> Started to feel like Jerry Seinfeld when he was eating at Babu Bat's restaurant by himself. Nobody was there. I am a good man. I am a kind man. I'm Jerry. Just kidding. So the salad was 90, the chicken was 300, and the water was 30, so that's 420 Turkish lira, which is $15.49, which I think is amazing, considering the prices here are basically like it's a Turkish Disneyland, if you will, inside of a tourist trap. So yeah, awesome deal. Best meal I've had in a long, long time, to be honest. So I really appreciate this place. It's a wooden spoon here in Gorme. The good news is more people came in to the wooden spoon as I was there, so I wasn't completely alone. It's been a long day. I think I'm going to catch a cab back to Chavashin. Well, I made it back to Chavasin, and the surprising thing is there's a wedding party going on. It's taking up the street right there, so me and my cab, we couldn't get through. Anyway, what a day today. Started bright and early and just kept running into more and more surprises like this, for example. Uh, we saw an empty cave dwelling and then the gym was what it was. And then after that, it was the lookout, the, what was it called? The sunset point. Um, and then honestly, just the best meal that I probably had in the four months since I left the United States and have been traveling as a nomad. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think of everything we did today. And until next time, thank you so much for watching, or as they say here, Teşekkürler. Thanks again. See you soon.